do some bits like some <laughs> testing and we are on the cliff yes hey guys what's up new video and um new location as you can see i am on the side of a cliff like this is where i live in england on a cliff basically and that is my view so me and my brother have done an absolute trek to get up here like i'm standing in like knee high grass where it's overgrown and guys when i say i'm in knee high gra grass i'm literally in knee high grass like we've trekked off the pavement and on t and off the path to film this video <laughs> Gosh, not good. I was standing over there with nice benches, but everyone started invading in and was like, no, that is not happening. So today's video is gonna be about, um, well, I keep getting comments on my video saying my big dragon keeps biting me. So I'm gonna help you guys out and give you a few tips. I did a taming video like a year ago maybe, so I think it's time for a new one. My brother's catching butterflies behind me. Shows how manly he is. So right guys, first first stage. When you first get your bearded dragon, you need to remember to leave him be. Like, just when you get him, put him in his tank, his vivarium, whatever you guys call it, and leave him be for a couple of days. Um, just make sure you feed him, obviously. Just as, as apart from feeding, just don't really pick him up and don't really touch him because you need to settle into his new home. If you um, touch him, like pick him up too early, they. They do this thing, it's like they, they just lay down, they just they don't even move, they shut their eyes. It happened to me, I did I did that, I did the wrong decision. Um, okay, there's a plane. So loud. Um, I did the wrong decision, I picked Reggie up on the, on the like first hour that I was playing with her, and it's just wrong, you need to give them um, a bit of time to settle in and get to their new environment. Obviously they go like all, um, it's hard to explain, they just, they don't do anything, they just lay there. This plane, what's going on? It's took so hard to film this video. So guys, secondly, when you've, um, so when you think your baby dragon settles in and he's ready to be handled a little bit more, right, so don't just like dive in and be like, oh, he's settled in now, I can pick him up and like bath him, whatever like that. You still need to give it a bit more time. So just like slowly start introducing your hands to him and start touching him. Um, he'll get used to you by then and then you can start like, holding him a bit more. Um, don't give him a bath really quick, like I did it the second day I got Reggie, so I was, I was so excited. So just wait like a week or two, and then give him a nice bath. And yeah, he should like settle right in. Um, if you don't follow these steps, you normally have um, a bit of an angry breed of dragon sometimes. They can turn out a bit aggressive. But if you don't, if you leave it too late and don't introduce you, um, yourself to the dragon it can come aggressive because he doesn't know you like he doesn't know you like humans and that so make sure you need to do it on the like right time I'd say about a week or like four four to four days to a week something like that and then I think you'll be fine it'll settle in nicely but if your breeder dragon does like go into like hibernation mode like don't he just lays there and don't does does nothing really doesn't eat really don't worry that's just settling in they all do it my Reggie did it and you know how Reggie's turned out now she's amazing I haven't got her here at the moment because, you know, I'm, I'm on the edge of a cliff. So by the end of this video, guys, I hope if you're going to get a Billy Dragon, you follow these steps because you don't want an aggressive Billy Dragon, really, do you? You want a nice one. So if you follow these steps, hopefully that'll be fine. You just got to remember to get, give your Billy Dragon a bit of a break before you start touching them. Um, and just don't leave it too late and don't pressure stuff on him so quickly because that's what... I did, I know everyone does it, like pretty much everyone that gets a breeder dragon just does that straight away. Uh, you just need time to settle in, that's basically all it is. So yeah, that will stop your breeder dragon from biting you hopefully. And if your breeder dragon is an adult and it's still biting you, then you probably won't get him out of doing that because that's just the way it is. So you're just, it will just be a bit unlucky if you have a, an adult breeder dragon that bites you because it's quite rare so I'm sorry guys that is pretty much it for this for today's video I hope you enjoyed it I love coming out here because now that it's summer in England it is lovely and I've got the best view and I don't really appreciate it really I'm going to show you France because I'm next to France I can see France right now so clearly right I don't know if that shows up too well on the camera but as you can see whoa this is so deep and I'm so close to the edge that is France over there. 
I can see the whole I can see the whole of France like Calais right there so we are that close and it's amazing and look just look at that view there's Folkestone if any of you know England Folkestone Folkestone Harbour you can see the beach and literally I I'm very lucky so thanks for watching guys and I'll see you next week like and subscribe bye